Now, some of you might have watched my Decoden phone case video that I did a few weeks ago featuring some of the amazing pigments by the brand Arteza. Now, Arteza contacted me. Actually, Margarita from Arteza contacted me. Yes, girl, I'm gonna name check you because you are lovely, okay? <laughs> And she sent me a lovely message and she wanted to gift me some items so that I could try out some more of their stuff. And I'm just a bit like, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> so we're gonna open up some goodies, have a little look-see, and then I'm going to do a project with them in this video. And obviously I'll be doing future projects with them as well, but I wanted to do an unboxing and a craft in one video for you. So I'm so excited to open these. <laughs> <sighs> okay, let's get to it. Hi guys, it's your girl Aisha Shasha and I'm so excited because I've actually had these items waiting in my Arteza basket for quite some time. Ever since I actually found out about them through Instagram, um, I just kept like adding things to my wish list and thinking, okay, one day I'm gonna get these, one day I'm gonna get these. And here they are actually in my lap, look at this. Oh my God. Okay, that's really heavy, that's really heavy. <laughs> so, Ooh, I figured that rather than me opening them up on my own, that I would open them up with you, show you what is inside, and then I will do a craft for you in this video. So let's start with the smallest box. Now this is the 3D fabric paint. These looked so, so cool. They're like little squeezy pens and they've got different nibs and stuff. So let me just grab my scissors. There we go. Now I'm gonna be leaving a link in the description box below that will give you a cheeky little discount. So make sure that you do go ahead and uh, use that if you do decide to get yourself any products from Arteza. I have to say though, that like even just from using the pigments, who I actually got from my lovely friend Sandra, you, you must know who Sandra is. If you don't know, you need to get to know Sandra Arts. She's amazing. She sent me a whole batch of um, samples of their pigments and I used them and I absolutely adore them. And like, you could tell that they were such good quality, even though they were, she sent them to me just in the little bags. Like, you know, you could tell that they were such good quality and I was so, so excited when I actually got the chance to partner with them. So I'm, I'm just, I'm very, can you tell I'm very excited? I'm very excited to try these out. Oh my gosh. Okay, so these are the different nibs that you get. Okay, so they are different thicknesses and also different shapes as well. All right, can you guys see those? Let me actually open them up so you can see better. Like this one, for example, has actually got three little nibs. Can you see that? It's got three holes there, so you can do like, like three stripes all at once. This one here has like just one flat nib. Do you see that? <laughs> My phone cannot handle the fabulousness. There we go, so it's got one flat nib. And we've got some that have got double nibs, some that have got just singular ones. This is brilliant, absolutely brilliant, okay. Oh my gosh, I got all the colors. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, these are so pretty. Okay, so what is this? Oh, this one's glows in the dark. Awesome, we have a glow in the dark one. That's so, so cool. I didn't realize that one of them glowed in the dark. We've got some neon ones here as well. Look at this, let me have a look. Let's see the color. Okay, so we've got a fluorescent. Wow, okay, this is bright. So we've got like a fluorescent red, a fluorescent yellow. What else have we got? We've got, have we got a fluorescent green? Yep, yeah, got a fluorescent green here. Oh my goodness. There are so many different shades of just like yellow and gold. That's so cool. This one here is all gold glitter. Obviously, you know I'm gonna be happy about seeing glitter. Oh my gosh. But look, you've got all these different shades here as well. So you're just never gonna be stuck for like choice, you know what I mean? Like there's there's so much here. Look at that beautiful magenta. Isn't that gorgeous? And what one's this? Rose Madder. That's a lovely shade as well. That kind of matches my backdrop. In fact, I'm pretty sure I've got like a lip gloss that matches this color. This is beautiful. I don't condone putting this on your lips. Um, <laughs> oh my goodness me. Well, I cannot wait 
to get into this. Look at these beautiful blues as well. I really like this shade. What shade is that? Cerulean blue, that's gorgeous. Is that a pearly one? Yes, we've got a metallic pearl white. That's beautiful. Can you see that? Oh, that is lovely. Oh my gosh, oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> hot pink fluorescent pink yes oh my gosh okay so that is the um 3d fabric paint set this is the 30 color set oh my goodness i even love the box that it comes in because like it's just so sturdy wow 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 okay so here is actually a list of all of the colors what you can get so that's pretty handy that it has it right there on the box for you so you can easily see what you're going to be getting. What's that? Metallic pearl black, wine, metallic wine reds. Oh my goodness. Wow. Violet, magenta, rose pink. Oh my God. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Okay. This is the uh, 24 set of fabric paints. Oh my gosh. And these are actually, some of these are actually different to the shades that I just saw there. So that's good. We're not going to be like, um, like repeating them all so let's have a little look at these oh my gosh these are massive these are really quite big look at that that's actually quite big you know how many mils do you get 60 mils that's big wow oh these are gorgeous colors okay I feel like the best way for me to show these to you is for me to like flip them all upside down and then you can see like, like the colors inside the bottles. Give me one second. Okay, so there we go. That's much easier, right? You can see that a lot better. Look at these beautiful colors. I'm loving this shade of purple here. That is absolutely beautiful. Got some gorgeous yellows in there as well. Some beautiful pinks, lovely blues. This, these teals here as well. This, oh, not that one. This one and this one. They're beautiful. Is that a silver and a gold that I see as well at the bottom? Yes, it is. Wow. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that the bottles are actually so big. I'm so, so chuffed. Wow, thank you so much. <laughs> We've got Egyptian blue, eggplant purple, amethyst purple. Amethyst is my birthstone. <laughs> oh my gosh, burnt sienna, bumblebee yellow. Goodness me, espresso brown. Forest green, I am gonna have such a good time with these. I did actually ask her if they work on shoes and she said that yes, they do. So I might finally be able to actually paint my trainers that I've been meaning to do for so long now. <laughs> finally, you might get a trainer painting video from me. Goodness gracious. It's been a long time since I've done one of those. Now, last but not least, this is the box that I've been dying to open. It's the glitter! Oh my gosh, 54 glitter jars. Oh my God. Let's get it open. Okay, here we go. Oh, wow. Okay, so you can't see them all just yet because they're all packaged up like this. But what a nice cool box. I like how they've all been like placed so that they don't just like fall around. Oh wow. Okay, can we please just take a moment? Like, just look at these. Look at the sparkle on that. Like, oh my goodness. Look at these. Oh my gosh. And I even love like the really sort of subtle differences between these two pinks as well. There is a subtle difference, but it is there. Oh my goodness. I'm just in glitter heaven right about now. Like this, <laughs> don't mind me. Oh gosh, look how rich that this purple is. That is so, so rich, isn't it? Look at this holographic green one. Oh my goodness. I mean, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Look at these beautiful blues. Like seriously, aren't they gorgeous? Oh my gosh. Here's the holographic silver. Ooh, child. But look at these neons. 
I mean, this is stunning. Oh my goodness. Okay, that is beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. Imagine these in resin, look at that. Oh my God. Glow in the dark glitter, get out, get out. Look at this. Get all the way out. Can't get it to glow right now because I haven't got UV light with me at this moment, but this is super duper cool. I wonder how that would look in resin. This is so Christmassy. I can't believe I'm even mentioning Christmas now. <laughs> oh my gosh. And this holographic turquoise as well. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my goodness. Wow, look at the holographic gold. Look at this, feast your eyes on this. Oh my God. Okay, so if you would like to get your hands on some of these beautiful goodies at a discounted rate, then please, please, please do use the code in my description box. You guys already know that whenever I get sent anything, I like to always try and make sure that you at least get a discount code of some sort. So if I'm getting hooked up, I need to hook you up as well. All right. <laughs> Okay, so I am going to um, do a craft for you now. Well, not right now because it's, it's, it's time for me to go to bed. But in this next section of the video, I'm gonna be doing, doing a really cool craft for you. And I really do hope that you enjoy it. A massive thank you once again to Margarita from Arteza. Thank you so, so much for this kit. I cannot wait to get started. Okay, so I ended up taking my Pusheen jumper. Yes, funny enough, there is actually a Pusheen on there. You just can't see her yet. <laughs> and um, I wanted to try and bring this jumper to life because the outline of her is all in yellow. So it's just yellow on yellow and you can't really see her. And Pusheen needs to be seen, okay? So all I did was just give a couple coats of the white paint just to give me a nice base to work with and um, I coloured her in with the uh, metallic sort of silvery colour fabric paint. Um, I mixed that with a touch of brown because she's kind of like a warm grey tone. So, um, but I, one thing I will say is that these colours do mix together really, really well and give you some quite interesting shades. So don't be afraid to play around with mixing them up together because you might surprise yourself, you know. Um, but yeah, this was a lot of fun to do. So sit back, relax and take a look. You'll probably notice that my uh, outfit does change throughout this video. That's because this is done over the course of a few days um, and you're not even seeing the full process because you need to let each layer dry for at least six hours. Um, and I can't really do this during the day because I have a four year old child. So <laughs> it meant I had to wait until the evening and it wasn't always possible to do it. So it took a bit longer than I expected it to. But that being said, it was such a fun creative process. I really do like the uh, 3D puff paint. I know my looks a bit shaky there it's because I was balancing in the most awkward position to try and get this shot I was literally holding the phone and painting at the same time honestly the things I do for you <laughs> but um, now with regards to this shade of brown this one actually dried really really dark so I went over the top of it with a slightly lighter brown because Pusheen's outline is brown not black so I'm, I'm trying to be as authentic as I can, okay? You know me, I'm the Pusheen Queen. It has to be perfect. Don't be alarmed, those aren't actual sprinkles that I'm putting on this, but they are the same sprinkles that I use in my resin crafts. So they're just made out of polymer clay, but I don't know where the idea came from for me to just like add sprinkles into her bowl, but it works because they are quite firmly stuck in there. Um, I may go over them with a bit of fabric glue just to be sure, but like they are pretty much stuck in. I'm really, really quite impressed. So here I am um, balancing again in the most awkward positions um, to do the sprinkles around her. And I was gonna leave it pretty much as you see it, but then I thought it looked a little bit awkward. So I decided to fill up the rest of the jumper with it. Um, I would have loved to have done the sleeves as well, but I actually don't think that it needed it. I think that this worked pretty much perfectly. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
See what I mean? Those sprinkles really do make the whole piece, don't they? <laughs> Anyway, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you learned something. Thank you once again to Arteza for giving me these amazing paints. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss the next one. Take care, my darlings, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.